In the world of gaming, few franchises have achieved legendary status. Among them lies a hidden gem that has captivated the hearts of players worldwide, Patapon. This unique franchise is not just a game, it is a rhythmic revolution that has left a mark on the gaming landscape as a whole. Before we get into the details of Ratatan, let's take a moment to appreciate the greatness of this franchise. Oh, and if you haven't played the Patapon franchise, I recommend you check it out. Patapon, developed by Pyramid Japan Studio and published by Sony Computer Entertainment, was released for the PSP in 2007. It emerged as an unassuming blend of strategy and rhythm, enticing players with its simple yet innovative gameplay mechanics. The Patapons, a tribe of eyeball warriors guided by rhythmic commands, offered an entirely fresh experience that really wasn't explored before. At the core of Patapon's appeal lies in its rhythmic gameplay. Players take on the role of the almighty god Kami, beating the sacred drums to lead the Patapons on their perilous journey through a visually appealing 2D world. The blend of strategy and rhythm intertwines seamlessly, transforming the player into both a tactician and a conductor. Beyond its unique gameplay, Patapon's distinctive art style and soundtrack that fused tribal beats with modern melodies, Patapon's audiovisual experience was quite addictive, so much so that I sang along to the Patapon's war cries by the end of my first playthrough. Of course, the success of the original Patapon was only the beginning of the franchise's journey. Sequels followed suit, each one building upon the formula of its predecessor while adding new elements and refinements. Patapon 2 in 2008 expanded the world and introduced additional Patapon types and evolutions. Patapon 3, released in 2011, delved deeper into the multiplayer aspect, allowing players to team up and tackle challenges together. The series' steady evolution kept fans engaged and the hype alive. And as a result, the franchise achieved quite a cult following. Praise poured in from both players and critics alike. Over the franchise's history, the series earned several awards, including the IGN PSP Game of the Year award for the first two installments. Fans bonded over their shared love for the rhythmic adventure, giving rise to vibrant online communities where strategies, theories, and fan art were passionately exchanged. For a while, it seemed as though the Patapon saga had reached its conclusion with the closure of Japan Studio. And for 11 years, we received no news of a sequel. That didn't stop them from collaborating with other games, most notably PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale and Little Big Planet. However, all signs pointed to the end of this franchise. A beacon of hope emerged in the form of the Jabberwocky project that aimed at reviving this trilogy in a brand new game, diverging from the previous installments. Early concept art for a new game titled Ratatan was revealed in March 2022. Hiroyuki Katani and Ken Midiachi, the creative minds behind the Patapon trilogy, are returning to develop Ratatan. The upcoming game's staff includes hack series director Kenei Nakasha, main artist Nel Nal, and main sound design Kenmei Adachi. Development began back in January 2019 with the establishment of Tokyo Virtual Theory under the guidance of Toshiyuki Yasui. The Jabberwocky Project, announced on May 23, 2022 through the gaming website Denver Medical Gamer, drawing from the creator's previous works. Ratatan has been confirmed to utilize the Theory Engine, a middleware technology that has facilitated the development of large-scale online games, supporting real-time multiplayer action games that could accommodate larger player counts without the need for servers. This means that Ratatan will likely have a lot of online features. Unfortunately, Ratatan's development faced a considerable hurdle in May 2022. Tokyo Virtual Theory was accused of plagiarism for their character illustrations in another project, Project Shaz. Artist Tororo took to Twitter to voice his dismay at discovering his character had been plagiarized. This incident sparked an intense debate within the artist community and cast a critical light on Tokyo Virtual Theory's projects. Toshiyuki Yasui, the director of Tokyo Virtual Theory, issued a formal apology on May 25, 2022, acknowledging the plagiarism. He clarified that the characters were typically designed from scratch, but this time, tools were used to modify reference images without the necessary rights. The company pledged to rectify this error and promised to design new characters for all uses. Despite this controversy, the Jabberwocky project was still popular among fans, and Ratatan's development proceeded. The Jabberwocky project was officially renamed Ratatan at the Bit Summit Let's Go Festival on July 15, 2023. 
It was also announced that Ratatan's development would be crowdfunded through a Kickstarter campaign commencing on July 31, 2023. In the build-up to the Kickstarter campaign, it was revealed that two additional studios, Ratata Arts and PH Studios, would contribute to the project. Ratata Arts, a newly formed studio, also joined the project, although details about their involvement remain undisclosed. A teaser trailer was released just over a week ago at the time of this writing. News spread all around and the Kickstarter campaign was extremely successful. In under an hour, they achieved their goal of $141,000 to fund the project and have received enough funding to create a secret ending, console versions of the game, and more. At the time of writing, the total amount of pledges has already passed 700,000. It just goes to show you how much people love the original trilogy. Like Patapon, Ratatan is more than just a game, it is a symbol of passion and creativity. And to tell you the truth, it is something the gaming industry is sorely lacking these days. What do you guys think? This is Arihead signing out.